The title of this video, you know what this video is about. It is about five, bed sharing five, with six, your two year old. It is about getting ready to just pull your hair out because you wake up with a backache every day of your life and you just don't want to wake up with a backache anymore. And this looks like a giant boob in my face. I assure you, it's not a boob. It is my unicorn. It is the Zara's unicorn. It is the foot from her unicorn. Anyway, I guess it's appropriate for the video. <laughs> you just got done watching me make a... Zara, what are you doing? You just got done watching me make a poke cake. I just decided to throw that in here because... Um, for me, it's pretty like relaxing to bake. Even though I cannot eat it right now. I have completely kicked sugar for almost two weeks now. And um, I can't eat it. So, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're riding your unicorn? <laughs> so, I can't eat it. But I made it for my husband for Azura. And it looks fantastic. So, I am going to post fit pictures of that on Instagram. So, if you guys aren't following me already on Instagram. Um, make sure you do. So, you can watch see a, a picture of that. Anyway. So, yeah. So, let's get back to reality. I am exhausted. I am, my back hurts. I'm tired. I just want a good night's sleep again. And I have not had that in over two years. It's kind of scary to think that it's literally been that long. But, um, I have been bed sharing with Azura since day one. And, um, I actually really enjoyed it. It was just very convenient for us because she breastfed from very beginning and it was just easy for me just to pull the boob out and give her the boob at night and we got more sleep because of it we really did it was it was awesome and then I just figured at a certain point she would just wean herself off or you know I don't know I just thought at a certain point it would do that but now I'm realizing that the longer I wait the harder I think it's gonna be for both of us both just ready for a change so when we first moved to this apartment about a month ago I had put her crib mattress and I put her Docatot Deluxe on top of that right next to my bed. So, of course, she would breastfeed to go to sleep and then I would put her in her Docatot and then she would sleep through there and a few times she would get up 
a uh, few nights she would get up and she'd get into the bed with me but the problem with that is we only have a queen bed and with my husband and I both in the queen bed it was just too difficult for her it was just too uncomfortable and not only that but I just felt like okay that's enough like you know um I, I don't want to be waking up at all hours of the night to get to breastfeed it's just it's gotten to the point where she's too big now and um, so I'm asking you guys please if you have any advice on what to do in this situation um, I know that I should have did a cry it out method a long time ago I tried that it didn't work for me personally I couldn't like my nerves like my anxiety I couldn't take it like she would just cry for hours on end so it just it didn't work for us um, so bed sharing worked very well for us for a long time but now it's just now I'm done like I'm just ready for our next chapter um, so if you guys have any advice, if you've read a book, um, and you've, you swear by it, like it actually worked for you guys, please link it down below. I will absolutely look it up and look into it. I have Googled, I have, um, you know, researched and a lot of the things say for you just to go ahead and like stop breastfeeding them and let them sleep on their own. But I want to know, like, what's, is there, like, an easier way? I know that that's probably the only way, um, but I just want to know what you guys think about it. And, you know, if any of you have some advice, I would love to hear from you guys. Please comment down below what you feel uh, are, like, your own, you know, personal, you know, journey through bed sharing. And if you're still bed sharing and... That would be great to know that I'm not the only one with a two-year-old that I'm bed sharing. So right now, we I'm literally, um, we have a queen mattress in Azura's bedroom. Her crib is literally right here on the wall. Like, we didn't even put it together because she's never slept in it. And um, so I am actually have been sleeping in here with her for the last two nights. And I'm just like, I'm ready to just have my husband, like, just sleep with my husband, just him and I, you know? I just, I'm, I'm just ready for that. Um, anyway... I hope this isn't a controversial subject. I know some some of this is controversial. I know that some people don't believe in breastfeeding your kid after one. I know that some people don't believe in bed sharing because they feel it's dangerous. So, you know, it is a controversial thing. It's just something that's worked for us. So, um, please, you guys, comment down below. Let me know. Help me. Help me. Help me. I'm being dead serious. Like, I really need help with this. Like, I can't. I can't, I can't do it. I got my boob. <laughs> okay, that's all this video is going to be about. I literally just needed to throw this out there for you guys just to, you know, go ahead and give me some advice. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and give that cake a try because it is delicious. And I will be waiting for your guys' comments because I really need this. Okay guys? All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.